in this video we are going to see that how we can flash the latest update of the hydra kernels along with the cr droid custom rom which has been released for our redmi note 8 pro now guys this cr droid custom rom is based on android 13 as well as the hydra kernels which has been released today itself is also based on android 13 so in this video guys we are going to talk about these two beast stuffs which we can flash in our redmi note 8 pro and make our redmi note 8 pro a proper gaming rom in android 13 segment so guys let's start with this video and if you are new to the channel then make sure that you subscribe to our channel and also hit that like button so guys first of all let's talk about the kernel uh, which i have made i mean the hydra kernels so let's talk about those kernels and what are the change logs which has been uh, which i implemented in this kernel and uh, what are the other things which we can see in the cr droid rom as well so we'll talk about both of the change logs for the hydra kernel as well as the cr droid change logs over here so let's start with it so first thing i will talk about is the hydra kernel so this kernel guys the credit goes obviously to me now guys if you see about the change log so the uh, i have upstreamed the repository i mean i have upstreamed the kernel version to 414.300 so guys if you remembered so the older version was 414.296 okay i mean the version 3.13 and 3.13 extreme version 4.4.14.296 okay but guys uh, the latest version has been upstreamed to 414.300 okay and here if we change uh, if we talk about the change logs so here guys you can see in upstream to 414.300 now guys many upstream schedule upstreams has been done schedule upstreams basically is because guys so that your device can adapt to whatever changes you make in your device okay so guys this feature is taken from miui so yeah credit goes to the miui next thing is guys update cp frequency yes guys i've updated this thing now uh, this thing will definitely result in a better gaming performance so next one is guys the protected fast charge so yes in the fast charge has been enabled and guys it is also protected more thing to add over here is that guys up to 50 percent your device will charge at 28 watt and uh, when the 50 percent uh, mark is reached so the overall charging criteria will come down to 25 watt okay so this is about what about the protected fast charge now guys if you if i talk about more so here uh, i've taken the mini configurations yes mini configurations has been taken from the unicorn horn kernel now i guess guys you all remember that uh, unicorn horn kernel is was for android 11 it was a gaming kernel so i've taken from that and guys korban janji kernel because a korban janji i was the maintainer for the and uh, one plus uh, six korban janji kernel so i thought to take some of the configurations from there so now guys moving on to the next so let's see how we can download this thing and then we'll move to the cr droid so okay let's talk first about the cr droid change logs and then we then we will collectively see that what are the files which we need to download so this was about the hydra kernel guys the change logs so now moving to the cr droid so for cr Android. this was the hydra page xda i'll give the link in description you come over here and you can simply read this thing okay now uh, cr droid so if we to talk if i talk about the cr droid so i am here i am on the page of the cr droid and we are going to talk about the one of the best gaming combination of the kernel as well as the rom for the android 13 because there are many gaming and uh, rom co kernel combination for android 11 uh, not for android 12 i guess but for android 11 it is there so in this video we are going to talk about for android 13 so guys the rom which i am talking about is the cr droid so if i talk about more over here so you can see that these this, this is the description which is given features i have already highlighted it i'll come to that later on now moving on to the next so here you can see that sources and all is given okay now let's talk about guys what are the change logs which we need, which we get in the cr droid uh, okay now guys this is made by the dark joker 360 i mean simon Ep epsito okay he is an italian uh, developer and maintainer so let's talk about more so here you can see that uh, the changes which has been done so status bar uh, many things has been changed guys i hope you all can read all these things now just let me go through all these and let me see what are the most important or most useful things which we can so guys here i found four interesting things in the user interface over here you can see so the first one is guys the ambient display which i guess all the custom roms uh, bring out uh, in today's uh, like android 13 one but the thing is different with the cr droid because cr droid guys many roms bring bring uh, the ambient display but that is not much optimal due to which your battery consumption increases okay so uh, that is why the hydra kernels are recommended guys now <laughs> just kidding but if we talk about the ambient display so this is one now second this is smart pixel so guys this is used for saving your battery okay if i talk about the next so weather service is already included in your 
see android without any external weather service app now moving on to the next so let me just check anything more okay so here you can see that in the miscellaneous options there are many things which has been added now first is the gaming mode which i see second is the smart charging now guys the uh, the our kernel the hydra kernels also has smart charging uh, feature with it uh, which is imported from miui itself so not an issue next thing is that the swipe to screenshot okay screenshot quality is here uh, i mean this is something new which we have seen which is still needs to be evaluated like how it it will perform and what is performing moving on to the next guys so here you can see that about the cr drop option is available okay now let's see guys what are the files which are required and uh, from where we can so guys uh, let's see that what are the files which are required so the guys the very first file which we need is basically the twrp recovery for our redmi note 8 pro device now moving on to the next so the next file which we need is the guys basically the cr droid android 30 so for that guys you will have to come over to this head over to this particular website and here you can see this cr droid begonia uh, android 13 has been written so you can simply click on this and you can download it now moving on to the third file guys so that is the hydra kernel file which you have to come to this particular website and here you can see that hydra kernel for begonia has been listed over here and guys one more thing to say that this kernel has been compiled with dragon tc which is because you all have used the corban janji kernel so that is that was also compiled with dragon tc compiler okay so guys uh, let's uh, let's see how we can download this thing so for that guys you will have to scroll down over here and here you can see that the linux version has been shown okay now moving on to the next screenshot so guys i have uploaded some of this loaded so let's see that what are the screenshots so guys here you can see that the benchmark result has been given now guys you all know that the average benchmark score for the redmi note 8 pro is around 28 to 30 so guys here you can see that the throttle test which has been uploaded for the hydra kernel which here you can see that guys we have tested the thermal throttling and here you can see that no cpu thermal throttling has been detected and also guys if you uh, see particularly so you can see the maximum score has almost crossed the 2 lakh mark which is benchmark score for redmi noted pro and also guys you can see that average is around 1 lakh 98 thousand which how we can download this uh, kernel so for that you have to come to this particular page over here and here uh, over here and here you can see this files option okay now just simply click on this file and here you can see that dragon tc is uh, uploaded dragon tc has been uploaded here you can see and this is the version 4.13 so simply just click on this thing and here uh, download one option will appear and you simply have to click on this thing and it will automatically start to download now guys i have already downloaded so i'll cancel this and if you want to read more about this change log so here also you can read this thing okay now so guys here i am on my phone on my redmi note 8 pro and here you can see that currently i am using miui 12.5.5 now just guys just let me show you Turn over here and here you can see that guys miui version so it is 12.5.5 so guys if you are on 12.5.1 2 3 4 5 17 19 20 85 whatever so you can simply see this video and you can flash to the cr droid and also flash the hydra kernel so that you can go to a particular android 13 gaming rom so for that guys step one let's do the step one so for uh, first thing which we need to do is you have to come to the settings over here and here come to the about phone okay now click on the about phone and here you can see the miui version so you simply have to click seven times over here so you will see a pop-up here that you are now a developer so after you see this just press the back button uh, scroll down over here and click see the additional settings click the additional settings now come to the developer option over here and here you can see that my oem unlocking uh, that is the bootloader my bootloader is unlocked so guys your bootloader should also be unlocked guys if your bootloader is not unlocked so you can simply watch the video i have given in the i button and you can unlock your device without the loss of any data okay so you can lock that unlock your device now guys my device is unlocked so i'll proceed with it so guys your device should also be unlocked now press, press the back button now scroll down over here and here you can see the usb debugging option just simply click this to enable so guys I'll, I'll select over here and i'll click the ok over here now guys what i have to do is let's go to our pc and let's copy the files which are required so guys i am here and here you can see that there are in total of three files which are required so first file is guys the twrp recovery the second one is the cr droid custom rom and third one is our dragon tc hydra gaming kernels okay so guys these three files which are required now let's copy these three files in our redmi note 8 pro
so guys i've copied my custom rom and the custom kernel that is the hydra kernel for the for my device okay guys now let's uh, let me just show whether i've copied the file has been copied or not so i'll go to the file manager click on the agree and continue and here you can see that guys uh, we have successfully copied the cr droid as well as the dragon tc kernel okay now guys what we have to do is we have to just go to the fast boot mode so for that you need to press the power button click on the reboot over here and press the volume down button Okay guys, so we came to the fast boot mode. Now let's go to our PC guys and let's see what are the steps which are needed to be done. So guys, here I am on my PC and here you can see that theme TWRP yellow zip. So you simply have to click right click on this and select the WinRAR and extract that. So after extracting, you will get folder like this thing. Okay, now simply double click on this particular folder and here you will get the theme TWRP recovery by Ishita. Okay, now again uh, enter this thing and here you can see that flash BRP MIUI Android 11 file is there. So you simply have to double click on this thing and guys make sure that your phone is connected and here you can see flash. So guys, I am on my phone and here uh, I am on my TWRP recovery. Let it boot up and let's see what are the steps which are needed to be done. So guys here I am on my phone and let's see what are the steps needed to be done. So first thing guys come to the mount over here click on the system and vendor. Okay now press the home button over come to wipe advanced wipe dialvic system vendor data and catch and swipe to wipe. Okay guys now press the home button come to install over here and here you can see that the first thing which is the Hydra. Okay guys one more thing uh, which has to be installed is the Google app. So let's copy that file as well. Okay guys, so I've copied the Google Apps as well. I will provide the link in the description of all the three files. Now press the home button guys, come to install over here. First of all, select the CR Android Android 13. Now guys, press click on the add more zips. Now again, select the Nick G Apps Core. Now guys, again, uh, click on add more zips and select the Dra Dragon TC Hydra kernel. Okay, now simply swipe to wipe. So guys, here you can see that our kernel, our Google Apps as well as the CR Droid custom ROM has been flashed. So guys, uh, now it's time for booting into our system. But guys, before booting, what you have to do is you have to come to wipe over here. Click on the format data type YES. Okay. Okay guys, now again press the home button, come to advance over here, disable force encrypt. Now guys, this is required if you want to flash another kernel, if you want to do further changes to your device. Now guys, again press the home button, come to Y, format data and type YES. Okay guys, now simply click on reboot system and let's go to the system and do let's do the testing of the throttle test and n to benchmark. So guys, here you can see that we have booted to our system. Now simply click on the start over here. Again, click on the next over here. Next over here. Currently, I'll skip it. You can set it online as well. Not an issue. Pretty much click on the next over here. Click on the next. Current. Click on the skip. Again, skip. Again, skip. And here next. So guys, here you can see that I am on the CR Droid Android 13 along with the Beast kernel for this particular device. So guys, now let's see that whether our kernel has been changed or not. So I'll come to the settings over here. I'll scroll down and here you can see the about phone in the Android version 13. Here you can see that the Hydra kernel, Hydra level 4 kernel has been installed. So guys, I hope you like the video and if you are new to the channel, then make sure that you subscribe and also guys, I hope that you will like this kernel very much. So guys, this was about in this video guys and also let's check whether the, so you can see the Play Store access is there. It, so guys, uh, I hope you like the video. If you are new to the channel, then make sure that you subscribe to our channel and also guys, hit that like button. And also guys, if you have any doubt, join my Telegram group for more. So till then, take care.